no, 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 Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. As you probably all know, the Lake Ontario Fall Salmon Run has begun. So my friends and I planned a full day of fishing to chase the kings on their way up. Right after arriving at our secret spot, we immediately saw a number of fish moving. But the morning turned out to be slow. I tried different methods, drifting an egg under an indicator, swinging a streamer, tight lining, but none of the fish seemed interested at my offerings. After catching a few more leaves and seeing that more anglers are starting to come in, we decided that it's time to move to a different spot that's closer to the lake. And that was the best decision we've made that day. We traveled an extra hour and hiked a little to get to our next spot. On the second streamer swing, on the first pool, this happened. Fish on. Got off. It's on, it's on. Okay, that's your hogat. Nice. Here we have my friend Matthew hooked up using a center pin setup. While I don't use center pin myself, I can tell it is effective when fishing for salmon. You can see a list of Matthew's gear in the description. One tip I can share when fishing for Chinook salmon is you will lose a lot of fish, especially if they had just came into the river. They are powerful at this stage, but don't let that discourage you because it's just part of the game. Yo, tail! I didn't mean it. Now for the second tip. It is almost unavoidable in a pool holding a large number of fish tail. to accidentally hook them yeah. on the tail or the fins. The tail Here you can tell it is hooked by the tail by how my indicator is swaying side to side. Oh, 
Nice. Tail, tail, tail. Oh, buntot, buntot, buntot. Wow, acrobatics. Yes, yeah. It's good for content. Yeah. What happens when you hook a fish on the tail? That's what happens. Fish on the tail again. At this point, I was about to lose confidence on how I judge where the fish are, which brings us to the next tip. Oh no, it's not. Kagat, man. Tip number three. You will have to figure out the depth where the fish lie to present your fly or bait properly. I kept experimenting on how far my fly is from my indicator. And it looks like I finally got it dialed in this time with this fish. Unfortunately, this one broke off. <laughs> oh, fish! Yeah, it's a hit, it's a hit. Malid, malid, malid. No, 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 no! <laughs> Oh, come on, come here. He's coming back, he's coming back. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, we talk. <laughs> oh. Is it? One bite, eh? Still strong, I'd my date, yeah. Oh, 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 That's a wild ride for a small one. That's a big one too. Whoa! I know. Did not react. Pumalupat, pumalupat na siya. Kamay, 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 kamay. Where'd you go? Anna, I'm done. <laughs> Ready? Bite, 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 bite. I saw I saw him open. <laughs> I saw him open his mouth. You can stay there. I'm just gonna tire you. Just don't run around. No, 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 don't go under. Don't go under. He went under. No, no, no. Oh, yes.
Malaysia. Malaki, malaki oh. <laughs> I am stop, I am stop. Hmm. Woo! Is it on? <laughs> Coming back. I'll try, I'll try. Oh no! <laughs> Tommy, oh. It's more than 20 here, I think. Dito. Eight pounds talaga, man. Eight pounds, yeah. Nagay mo eight pounds yun sa'yo. Eight pounds, yeah. Yeah. Walking back. Thank you, buddy. Boyan, boyan. Nice. Our friend JC managed to get about five bites on a spin rod setup after we figured out the depth where the fish were but as you know you can't get it all but i'm sure he'll have better luck next time around here are some underwater release of the fishes we caught hope you enjoyed today's video please hit the like button and if you're new here consider subscribing for more videos thank you and see you in the water